So we're up here in the shop. It seems like spring is here. It's like the 12th of March. It's like 50 some degrees out, 52. Muddier than muddy, but that's because it just rained. I believe all the frost is out. And the snow is pretty much gone. Maybe like a big old snow bank still somewhere, but they're pretty well gone. So getting ready for spring. Got our pallets, pallet of filters. There's air filters, cab filters, grease, um, chain lube. I don't know what else is in there. Can't forget, forget off the top of my head. And then this year we got this uh, easy steer system with the Trimble 500 display. So I'm gonna be installing that in the 4450. And uh, I guess before this video goes any farther, yeah, it's like 10 or some years old, 11 years old, but I think it'll work pretty good yet, and it was pretty damn cheap. So everything we need for the screen is in here. We got the steering motor, which I know it's not the funnest to have um, the steering motor on the outside of the steering wheel. But it's just going to be what it is. And then this goes just on the floor. So, and then the bracket for that. So, we're going to be putting this on. I'll be putting this on the 4450. And we're going to use it for spring chiseling and hydrus. And then we'll move it to the 4440 for corn planting and spraying. This whole thing in here, um... Same price as a foam marker, our sprayer foam marker. Took a uh, crap, basically. So is it the same price to get a whole new foam foamer on there or just get the screen and you can use it for everything else, other jobs. This foam marker is only good for one thing. So I think this is the better bang for the buck. And then this stuff was pretty cheap as well. So I think first we're going to install the screen. So, just on a ram mount, I think there's a bracket in here somewhere, we'll put in the tractor, right here. So, let's go check out this 4450. Here it is, been sitting since, like Christmas. Damn, these tires are balled up front. Dust all over it. Hey, look at that. It's dark in here. But, uh, thinking about getting rid of this or moving it over, there's just a piece of paper in there. Then get that monitor bracket come out here and just have it sit right there beside the, the uh, two way. After like 10, 15 minutes of looking, no joke, I found this uh, monitor bracket. You'll see where it bolts. This came out of the uh, 4040 we used to have before it got totaled <laughs> on the highway. But, um, we used to plant corn with that tractor. I guess my dad had this bracket bolted that came out. I wasn't originally going to use it, but it doesn't seem like a bad idea. So I might loosen it and straighten it out, but it gives you a nice angle. And then this is the ram mount. I'll just bolt it on there. And then we have these brackets in most of our tractors. We'll just uh, unbolt this one and then you can move it from tractor to tractor. So then we can just leave the monitor bracket in the 50. At least that's my plan. It can always change. But uh, put that down here and I think it'll work pretty good. So I got this bracket in. It's pretty simple. It's this piece and then it's this piece. And then you just have three bolts that clamps it to this little bar here. You can slide it from here all the way to there. We got it from John Deere if anybody wants it. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this backup camera in this tractor, honestly, because I think this would be better here, but um, I'll think about that. So I got it mounted here. I loosened this up and moved it straight sideways, but um, yeah, I don't know what's going to be the ideal spot till I actually use it. I know you need to click this button to engage auto steer. Everything is still within an arm's reach. I can bring it closer if I want, but I'm just worried that with the steering motor here, if um, 
they'll interfere. So I still think I'm gonna want it that way more. Guess I can loosen these brackets and slide it, but then I get in the way of that. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it, and I'm gonna hopefully use it the first time and uh, see how good or bad it is. Up here is the light bar as well, and then guidance here. So. Honestly, I don't think that's too bad. It's pretty adjustable. This uh, thing right here, it slides all around, whatever you want, but I have it tightened up right now, so. I guess uh, we get something to clean this uh, cigarette lighter terminal up. And I know it works, it just has a bad connection sometimes, so. I'm just thinking there's dirt in there, hopefully. Otherwise, uh, I guess we're going to John Deere to get a new cigarette lighter thing because you can't run it without it. So that's my next project. Get this thing lit up. Got antenna to Here do after go. that. Also, note to self, don't stick one of these battery terminal cleaners in there because that's always hot. And sparks go sparking and smoke. Uh, not a good idea after the fact. Here we go. There she comes on. This is the Case IH version of Trimble. Trimble and uh, Case IH New Holland, they teamed up. So this is just the Case version. You can see the logo there. I've already had this on. I need to set it where I don't see that because there's no point, it's already set. I don't need to see the wizard every time. So. When you plug it in, it automatically turns on, and um, I don't understand why they wired these cigarette lighters and these tractors to be on when the key is off. So, I don't know if there's a way you can just hold the button and shut the screen off, or we're just going to have to unplug it from the cigarette lighter every single time, but yeah. I've never ran an auto steer system, literally ever. I already moved uh, the GPS, wherever the heck that was, to, well, this is OmniStar Unlocked, but um, obviously you have to buy the subscription, but the it's unlocked, so I think it's like 600 bucks for three months, but the first year, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use WAS. So, I guess I don't have that on here plugged in yet. Oh, I was just in there like literally a minute ago. GPS, GPS setup. See, it was on Omni, which this is unlocked to Omni, but obviously we don't have the subscription. So, we're just going to go to WAS. Anything below these? Oh, I thought maybe I had RTK or something. Shit. There we go, WAS. Now, if anybody else has this, do you favor accuracy or whatever? If you ever have one of these things and you got tips, you can lay them in the comments below. But, uh, yeah. Now, this can be a mess of wires, so. Obviously, with this RAM mount, you can adjust this wherever you want once you loosen it. So, we can even have it way the hell up here if you want. I don't know why. Maybe that is a good spot. I don't know. Starting we'll to get dark. Out. Obviously, it's not going to finish this today, but I got this adhesive. There's two strips of adhesive underneath this metal plate. Right underneath here, 40 inches. Got it right on 20, and there's an inch and a half here, inch and a half here. You know, it might be like an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch off, but I think it's pretty good. So, this globe satellite, or not satellite, antenna, I don't know, they call it all different things, it's supposed to sit on there, and that is a good magnet if i ever seen one, holy cow. Evidently, that's what's supposed to hold it up here, so I'll angle that antenna wire that way, and I guess that's it. So, run that wire down along, I'll run it through the window, not that little side door, because i got enough wires going through there already. 
that's kind of loose, but uh, yeah. We got two of these plates, so that's just permanent, you know, just adhesive, 3M. That's some good stuff. Like, look at this, shaking the whole roof, so. Well, I'm calling it a night. I got this loosely on here. Actually, I need to grab this wing nut and set it here before it falls down there. Maybe I could raise the steering wheel up just a little bit, but just by, you know, loosening the cap and pulling it. Once I get it set right, we're just going to leave it. And uh, all I did was stick it in random holes, and uh, it looks like it lined up pretty good, actually. Now, there's a little tab here. You pull it, and you push this thing over, and it gets it out of the way. So, yeah. I have to do some adjusting. I guess this knob bolt hits, so just barely. But, um, yeah, it doesn't get in the way when it's on here. We'll bring it in. I actually... Kind of surprised how easy that was. Got to tighten these two bolts just a hair more. And then the, added the other wing nut and crank her down. And then I got a, there's a little box T2 compensation. I'm going to Velcro to the floor in the corner there. That's tomorrow's job. But, um, well, I'm honestly surprised. And I can still see my, uh, lights. I was kind of worried about that. Thought I wouldn't be able to see it, but, yeah. So it's the next day. It's like one o'clock or whatever. And I got that adjusted right. You're supposed to have the, the wheel an inch and a quarter away, which I have set right. Now, mounting this box, it says preferred way is your connections facing forward. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got Velcro. You're supposed to secure it to the floor so it doesn't bounce around. But I really don't wanna drill holes into the floor mat. I will if I have to, but we're using it in this tractor in a 4440 so thinking if i velcro it'll be easier to move tractor to tractor we'll find out the person we bought this from used so that's what he did and it seemed to work pretty good so that's what we're gonna do i want it straight forward which this uh helps line it up pretty straight i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it about right there and uh velcro it down it actually fits perfect in there like Another quarter inch and I don't, another half inch it wouldn't fit, so. That's my next X. So I got that Velcro to the floor and uh, this antenna wire, there's like 10 extra feet. So everything has a extra feet of everything. So that's a mess down there. I'm not sure what I can do about it. I tried to zip tie it up, but um, yeah. Anyway, I gotta put some measurements in here. Somewhere. Yep. So I need to measure your wheelbase, antenna height, antenna offset. That's gonna take me a little bit. This stuff I'll just leave for now. Wheelbase. So my tape measure down there, I'll do that. I got antenna to axle like eight inches forward of the axle. That's a hard measurement to get. So I'll try to line the axle up to here. I don't know a good way for that. I googled the wheelbase, it says 105 inches, and then I measured the antenna height at 120. So I think that should be everything. I hope. So. Tidy this area up and try it out. Hit okay on it, it'll turn green. You drag to the other end of the field, hit okay again, and then you're done.